Well, I couldn't wait until Saturday. I needed to finish it today. Uh, we've got the aft end section here completed. It uh, bolts onto the frame right here and here, as well as on the other side. The next piece that bolts in is the instrument panel support. The instrument panel actually fits along the inside here. So you've got kind of an overhang right here ahead of the panel. And then the forward section is also bolted in. I've only got four bolts present for that one. It'll actually take six. Um, it's very solid. It doesn't deform at all. Um, I wouldn't roughhouse with it in this shape because without skin and uh, the forward section support here, uh, it's still uh, kind of weak to lateral force and you don't want to mess with it when it's like that. Um, this back section here, okay, will have a panel that encompasses this entire area and I may or may not put in some kind of an access point in here uh, depending on uh, the feedback I get from you folks. Uh, but the design is essentially set in concrete unless some bright eye spots something out there that really needs to be changed. Um, the only mystery I have right now is the instrument panel itself. Uh, whether or not the panel I've designed will properly uh, allow leg movement inside for actuating the rudder pedals. And the pedals will be living in this general area here and the stick base will be right around in here. Um, I do have a stick gimbal designed. I need to build it. That will likely happen on Saturday. Um, but all in all, I'm very happy with the result so far. Um, from what I've been able to figure as far as uh, costs, we're looking at about $100 for an instruction set that will include uh, a PDF file instruction on CD as well as uh, a printed version and a CD with video that will illustrate uh, some of the uh, trickier aspects to putting this thing together. It will also include router templates that will be used to bake all of your parts. What you'll do is you'll take that router template, you'll bolt it to your blank, cut it out with the router bit, and move on to the next part until you're done. There are 22 ribs total uh, in this assembly for the sides. Two for here. The forward has two large and three small. These two are the same because they've got the bolts in them for the uh, instrument panel. This one is a trimmed down version that you can see here that is not as deep as the one behind it. Uh, there's actually little mounting lugs back here that you can't see on this panel. Uh, that'll hold brass inserts that will take a number eight machine screw to uh, bolt the main instrument panel down. Um, I separated these two components because I wanted you to be able to remove this portion without disturbing the instrument panel because when the instrument panel is permanently installed it will not only bolt to this top frame but it will also bolt to here to give it additional structure and that will be an aluminum cross member going from here to the panel and then from here to the panel as well. Uh, so that will keep it nice and, and stiff and uh, reduce any flex. The reason I'm doing that is because cutting an, a sheet of aluminum that size is very expensive and it would be easier to laminate two 1 8 inch sheets of melamine uh, to generate the panel size. And uh, you'll end up with a very good looking panel. It'll be strong and it won't cost you $80 for the aluminum. Um, that's about all I can think of right now. Um, I will imagine there will be more discussion on this in the forums. Uh, right now I am uh, posting stuff to the uh, Pit Builders Forum on SimHQ, the SimPits tech list at SimPits.org. Uh, I'm trying to get a post going on the CH Hanger uh, support forum for, for Cockpit Builders. And I'm also uh, working on a discussion on mycockpit.org in their general area. Uh, 
I hope you like what you see. And uh, oh, one thing I did forget to mention, if you don't want the router templates, okay, uh, there will be plotted full-size drawings included uh, in the both the template version and the non-template version. The non-template version should only be about fifty dollars. So if you want to take and, and uh, cut the uh, parts out by hand using either a jigsaw or a bandsaw, uh, and you want to save a little bit of money, that option will be available as well. Um, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And uh, keep your eyes peeled. There'll be more soon. Thank you.